Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be creating an Instagram bot that could follow other users, create posts, like posts, comment on posts, and so much more. We'll be using Python 3 for this tutorial, so be sure to have Python 3 installed. I'll be coding in Visual Studio Code, but you can use any text editor you want. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you found this video helpful. All right, so for this bot, we'll be using the Instabot module, which we can install in our command prompt by typing PIP install Instabot, then hit enter. After it's been installed, we can go into our Python project, which you should have set up already. Just create a Python file and open it up in any text editor. As easy as that. Now, I already have everything set up here. This is our main Python project. This will be our actual program. In the same directory, I have two other files, one of which is the image that we'll be posting using the bot, and the other is a text file with all the login details of my bot. But you don't need this text file. This is just so you don't see the login details of my bot. The next step would be to have an Instagram account ready. So I created one real quick, and as you can see, I have zero posts. The only account I'm following is Lego because why not and yeah all you need for the bot to log in is the username of your account and the password so make sure to remember those two things when we get back to our project we can type from instabot import bot to import the bot object after this we can create an instance of the bot object so we can say that bot with lowercase b bot with an uppercase b and since this is an object we need to add brackets after this we have our bot instance set up and we can log into the account using the bot by typing bot.login and inside the brackets we need to fill in two parameters directly. So username equals and then in quotations, fill in the username of your account as a string and then do the same thing for the password. So comma password equals and then in quotation the password of whatever your account's password is. Now since I don't want you to see my login details, I'll be pasting this function which returns my login details. So you can completely ignore this. This is just for me. Don't get confused and go type this into your project as well. You should still have your username and password here as strings unless of course you have the same function as me or another method of inserting your username and password. Now that we have that out of the way, we can run our program to make sure that we log in. If you get an error trying to log in, make sure that you have your username and password typed in correctly. Also, you might realize that if you try to run the bot again, you might get an error. What's causing this error is this config folder up here. So just make sure to delete the config folder that's been added to your directory. This config folder will generate every time you run your code. So make sure to delete it every time you run your bot again. Now that we can log in, we can do the exciting stuff. I'll be showing you how to create a post for First. So I'll be creating an image variable called img and it will be a string containing the path to the image I want to post. But since my image is in the same directory, I can only type the image name, which is project underscore image dot jpeg. And one last thing, I also found that only jpegs work, but if you can post png or any other format, then you could do that too. We can then type bot dot upload photo and then the image is an argument. And this should work if we run the code, but if you want, you can add a caption to the post by adding a second argument and for this parameter we need to pass in a string of the caption, so maybe something like this. If we now run our code, we see that the bot logs in and after waiting a while, we see that it posts the image. When we go back to the Instagram page, we can also see our new post. We can also see our caption right here. Back in our project, we need to delete the config folder once again. Something also worth noting is that whenever we post something, the image file gets deleted and we can't use it anymore, so we can delete this as well. We can also comment out this code or delete it since we won't be needing it anymore, and it will actually give you errors since this image doesn't exist. Now we can follow a user by typing bot.follow and then the username of the account is a string, so I'll type SpaceX. When we run the code and wait a while, we see that we have followed a new account. And before heading back into our project, we need to decide what post we want to comment and like on. So I'll be going to SpaceX and I'll be choosing the latest post. Make sure to click on the post and then here we need to copy the link of the post. Then back inside our project, we delete the config folder. Then we can store this link as a string in a variable called post link. After this, we type post equals bot dot get media ID from link, then as an argument, the variable we just created. This will return an ID which the bot can use to find the post that we want. After this, we type bot dot like post and bot dot comment post, and then as a second argument, a string as the actual comment we want to leave on this post. Before we run our code, I need to mention something first. This is a documentation to the library that we're using, and there's so much more we can do with this bot, and it's really easy to use. I'll leave a link in the description but the reason I'm showing this is because the bot object has a few parameters and it's stuff like max likes, max comments, etc. The one we want is called max likes to like and this parameter is a number which if the post we want to like has more likes than the max amount then the post won't get liked. The max amount has a default of 200. So in my case since SpaceX gets quite the amount of likes I'll be going back to my code and right here I'll type max likes to like and make it like I don't know 1 million or something. After this before 
before we run our program, we can actually add a last line of code at the bottom, bot.logout. And this will just log the bot out, which is pretty self-explanatory, just like every other function in this library. Now, when we run our code and wait a while, we should see that when we go back into Instagram and go to the post we wanted to like, we can see our comment here on the right, as well as the posts been liked, which is pretty neat. And with that said, there's so much more we can do using this library, but that'll be all for this video. I'll leave a link to the documentation so you can check out everything else you can do with this bot. I'll also leave a link to a GitHub page. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.